This tutorial will teach you how to create a cartoon ice cracking effect in Maya. Now, there will be a four part series, and the first part will be on modeling. I'm going to start off with creating our piece of ice. It will just be a cube. We're going to use an animated boolean to create the ice crack. So that's a bit bigger. Okay, so that's about the size of our slab of ice we want. Now I'm going to create a curve, an EP curve, and I'm opening its tool settings, and the curve degrees are set to 1. So make sure your settings are set to 1. Now I'm going to create a crack. This is the curve we're going to extrude a box along that we're going to then boolean into our little piece of ice. This is a cartoon crack, so it doesn't need to be too accurate. Just like a jagged line, something like that. You can go back and tweak it a bit. Okay, now that that's done, well, we are now going to create another cube. Now let's change this to shaded. This one wants to be really skinny and very tall. You want to place it so it's at the end of the curve. By the way, the direction at which I created that curve is important. You want to create it from the direction that you'll be extruding your front face of this box and across the piece of ice. So now I'm selecting the face and I'm shift and I'm holding shift key and selecting the curve. And now I'm clicking extrude. It's on the polygon menu set right now. And I'm opening the attributes editor because I need to increase the divisions so this extrusion will follow the curve. It's a bit too thick, so I'm going to skinny this a little bit more. I'm going to re-extrude it. We don't want this very thick because this will be the crack. I'm just going to add divisions. About 25 should do. Now I'm switching to the overhead view, and we need to clean this geometry up a bit. Let's go to vortex mode and clean up corners like this. We don't want any overlapping geometry. Okay, so now that's good. You should check your normals because sometimes they will get locked. And these are unlocked, so we're good there. So now we're going to select both pieces of geometry. We're going to freeze transformations and delete history. And we no longer need this curve, so we can delete it. And now we've done the modeling phase of this. The next part will be setting up the rig.